Hi, I'm back people, just so you're wondering. Here for well, it's not really a tutorial, it's just a look around my movie making software which a lot of you have been asking about. The program is called Serif Movie Plus X3. You can get this on the internet, but it does cost around in England about sixty pounds. I'm not really sure about American dollars, but Anyway, look it up. It's really good program. Really easy to use as well. So, first open it up, and it takes a while for some. Yeah, here it comes up, and I want to start a new project, and I want to start a widescreen one. Okay, start new. Okay, here you got the basic window, and you've got a timeline here. Not that unusual for movie editing people but if you lack in skill of movie making you can switch to a storyboard mode which is a lot easier but you can get more complex videos with the timeline well here you can import media so you can import it from files pictures videos music you name it. Um, yeah, um, and you can do a direct capture from your video cam or your webcam, whichever you use. And a rip CD. You can rip a CD straight onto this, which I think is a brilliant feature. And already there's a library of preloaded stuff. So, like samples, quick shapes, animated. See animated things, animated squirrels, animated whatever they are, I don't even know what they are. Um fills do pretty cool fills and then there's animation effect fills as well. And um, all of this, I don't really use them but I think they're still pretty good and mu music and stuff. Masks, they're very useful because they're pre keyed and everything, which is very useful if you wanna do a complex movie and overlays. Okay, so I want to show you how to do something simple, which is green screening first, because you can't do that on Movie Maker unless you download some random stuff, which, to be honest, you don't really want to be doing that, because this is so much easier, honestly. So, I have a yellow brick here. The annoying thing is, you have that annoying white background. So, what you want to do is go in effects, add effect, and then you go on chroma key, and simple as that. And you can just edit that. Then you can blur it to make it blend in more. And see, look, the perfect Lego brick. And also you can add really cool effects actually, like just the uh, everything. You can do different colours, you can make it really blurry, you can make you can make masks out of them which is quite advanced, but you'll learn how to do that in time. Threshold, which is pretty cool. And you can sharpen the masks, invert the thing, so wow. <laughs> that and boss so you can make it look like a pirate DVD which I think looks pretty cool um old films black and white films faded films badly damaged films flicker home movie which is a pretty cool effect because half and half now this is really it's quite a dramatic feature on this because some bits can be color some bits can be black and white and you, it picks out primary colours, so it's really cool. Um, glowy things, filter effects, these are pretty cool. So add a button up on. <laughs> you can edit this though. So, like. Which looks pretty funny. But if you wanna. Say it's like that, but you want it to make look 3D kind of thing. You wanna... No, you wanna do that, but... 
What? It's not doing it. That's better. So like, you can see, pretty cool. There's a light shining on it now, which is um, it's done to lighting and stuff. It's quite advanced stuff with this, but anyway. And there's a really cool thing which you can't do on Movie Maker either. It's called cool transform, move the thing around, put it on top of things. But a really cool thing is if you hold shift down and drag that. It's easier to do than um, um, Sony Vegas even. It's easier to do it on that. So that is a really cool feature and it's really easy to do. So I want to delete that file. Text. Everyone loves text. Um, so I type in th productions and there's also loads of preset things really cool I like that one personally um, that one <laughs> they're pretty groovy ones these I use that one a lot um, <laughs> yeah you can just have a play around with these they're great fun you can edit your own go and fill and gradient and loads of these like you can have a hippie one wait not right put on plain thing fill hippie one yay we all love hippies okay and then now this is really cool the animation there's blinds there's were blinds and everything ghost is pretty cool but my favourite, I don't know why, I just love it, it's just glow. It's just simple, yet really effective. What well, do you know, you have a movie. Um, One of the coolest features on the whole thing has got to be, go on export, straight direct link to YouTube. And you don't have to download any software to do this. HD thing, you just click on this HD and click on that. And really high quality. All you need to do, next. Done. And it's just uploaded to YouTube and it's brilliant. So, I think that's it. Um, if I missed anything out, please tell me. If you want to know something about this program, please tell me. But honestly, this is a must have. You will not regret it. I promise. Well, that was my short tutorial. And uh see you guys soon with a hopefully trooper part ten. Wait, don't go. Stay for two seconds please. I just want to announce that you, the reason why I don't make videos as frequently as before is I play a lot of games and I've just recently introduced um, my gaming channel and feel free to check it out it's one word mutant toaster PC check it out please I need the views subscribers please thank you and goodbye